Hello everyone, today we will see how to dump tracking data in a kitty format and convert it to MOT format and apply track evaluation to compute the most popular tracking multi-object tracking metrics. So we start with a simple libstrip pipeline that takes as an input a video file, then runs object detection and NVIDIA tracker. Then our goal would be to add a probe to NVIDIA tracker that will dump information in a kitty format. So how we will do that? So we use a GST add probe to add a, a tracking probe that we prepare. The only parameter that it will use from our application context is the output directory for dumping tracking data. And we have a function write kitty track output which I repurposed from a libstream application sample pipeline that will ensure that the directory exists. Then it will iterate over metadata, create the file with all the detections for every frame and for this particular stream index. And afterwards, write down bounding boxes, object label and object ID plus the confidence in a kitty format which has more values than that but for the purpose of simple tracker evaluation we just need those values so let's uh, run this pipeline i prepared a document that we can build and run afterwards we have a couple of uh, dependencies for parsing configuration file and evaluation scripts afterwards. We built our deep stream pipeline and I prepared a couple of config files that has only two parameters. Let's see what kind of data we need to evaluate tracking performance of our deep stream pipeline. The data we have on file that usually called secmap that contains a list then we have a folder of those videos and for every video we have a folder with the ground truth information which will give you a class a tracker id bounding box and some additional information about object detection so we need to run our deep stream pipeline on every video from sequence map and for that i have hard-coded two configuration files that will out in a specific output directory that has the same name as a video file let's run our pipeline with those two configurations it will take some time to generate engines from the models and to run those files. So here we can observe that our pipeline is working and produce some detections. It's not of very high quality, but the purpose of this video is just to see how we can dump tracking information and evaluate our tracking performance. We can always improve those metrics. Pipeline has finished execution. Next step is to verify that we have correct output in the output folder and we have a predictions for every frame of the video. Next step is to use a script provided by NVIDIA to convert those predictions into the format compatible with the track eval, which basically just rename labels and change and collect all the outputs in a one single file. Next, we can use track evaluation script to compute metrics using the ground truth that we provided in the ground truth folder for our videos. So you see in this file it's configuration for evaluation and different time and metrics in this form. So in order to reuse it programmatically, I added a script that will parse all those metrics into pandas data frames. It is quite short and it should be easy to reduce. Let's run it. After it executed successfully, we have different metrics in machine readable form in CSV file that we can use to automatically evaluate different sets of parameters of our deep stream pipeline and to optimize for different aspects of performance. In this video, we have seen how we can extract tracking meta information and use it to evaluate our deep stream pipeline against a track eval benchmark and compute the most popular multi-object tracking performance metrics. You can repurpose this example for any of your pipelines that contains a tracker that you need is to provide a probe after tracker element and give that probe an output directory. Afterwards, you have all the utility scripts to evaluate your tracker on the videos of your choice. You just need to prepare ground truth in the correct form and run trackable evaluation script. In the next videos, we will see 
how to use it to optimize pipeline performance end-to-end.